So, is C Sharp better than Swift? What? what? I know, I know, I know. It's the whole comparing apples with oranges thing. I get it. But there is definitely certain areas where these two great languages can be compared. For example, if you need to create a highly performant mobile app that runs only on iOS devices, I would without a doubt choose Swift over C Sharp. If, however, I needed to create a cross-platform mobile app that runs both on Android as well as iOS devices, and performance wasn't such an issue, then I would choose C Sharp and the .NET MAUI framework. The reason for this is because I would be able to create just one code base that could be compiled to run on both Android and iOS devices. Moving forward with one code base means the application is easier to maintain and will certainly be more cost effective. If you chose Swift, for example, to address the aforementioned requirement, where high performance is important, you would need to maintain two code bases, one written in Swift that would be compiled to run on iOS devices, and the other written in Java or Kotlin that would be compiled to run on Android devices. So yes, in this case, you would definitely be able to gain a performance advantage over using C Sharp and .NET MAUI. But as stated earlier, what if the requirement was not so concerned with performance? .NET MAUI would potentially be a better solution because you'd only need to create and maintain one code base. So with the requirement where performance is deemed as important for your cross-platform solution, you'd need both Java or Kotlin developers as well as Swift developers to build the application. And moving forward, you'd have the overhead of maintaining two disparate code bases. So by using Swift and Java or Kotlin, you can gain a runtime performance advantage but you are incurring a much greater cost in terms of developing the application as well as maintaining the application. You potentially need to employ two sets of specialist developers. Whereas if you were to use C Sharp and the .NET MAUI framework, you only need to employ developers with C Sharp and .NET MAUI expertise. This substantially lowers development and maintenance costs. So you would essentially need to weigh up development and maintenance costs versus runtime performance benefits before choosing Swift and Java or Kotlin over C Sharp and .NET MAUI. So that is just a very basic real world example of where you might compare C Sharp to Swift. I believe Swift can actually run on Android devices. This is possible. I won't go into the details of how you would do this in this video, but generally Java or Kotlin is leveraged for high performance applications on Android devices for native applications. Another example of where you might compare C Sharp to Swift is aspiring developers may be debating which of these two languages to learn based on salary aspirations. So if we look at these Stack Overflow survey results, it seems that Swift developers on average get paid more than C Sharp developers. I would imagine, however, that there are far more .NET and C Sharp developer jobs available than Swift developer jobs. Swift is a more niche programming language, if you like, primarily created for Apple devices like iOS, macOS, watchOS, and tvOS devices. As a point of interest, if we look at the Tyobi index, we can see that C Sharp is substantially more popular than Swift. C Sharp is ranked at position number five, and Swift is currently ranked at number 20. And if the Tyobi index is anything to go by, Swift seems to be declining in popularity, while C Sharp is more or less remaining at its position at number five. Before we get into the delectable details of these two awesome programming languages, let's take a brief look at the history of Swift and C Sharp. Swift is a multi-paradigm, general purpose, high-level compiled programming language and was created by Chris Latner in 2010 for Apple. It quickly gained popularity among developers for its performance and safety features. In December of 2015, Apple announced that Swift would be open source, allowing developers to contribute to its development and use it outside of Apple platforms. This significantly expanded its community and ecosystem. Apple has continued to release updates to Swift, with major versions introducing new features, improvements in performance, and enhancements in safety. Swift has become a popular choice for mobile and server-side development, with a growing number of libraries and frameworks supporting it. 
Notably, its adoption extends beyond Apple platforms with frameworks like Vapor enabling server-side applications. Ugh, I feel a little bit lightheaded. The principal inventors of the c -sharp programming languages were Anders Halsberg, Scott Wiltermuth, and Peter Golder from Microsoft. It was first widely distributed in July 2000 and was later approved as an international standard by ECMA or ECMA-334 in 2002. c -sharp is a general purpose high-level programming language supporting multiple Hello. paradigms. Please like, subscribe, share, and do all the things. Please send some piping hot, delicious cups of creamy coffee my way if you're feeling delicious, if you're feeling generous. Okay, where was I? C Sharp encompasses static typing, strong typing, lexically scoped, imperative, declarative, functional, generic, object oriented, and component oriented programming disciplines. Code written in C Sharp is generally just in time compiled, JIT compiled, and runs on a software substrate known as .NET. Note that .NET does offer AOT ahead of time compilation for some scenarios, which means initial setup times are potentially faster. And with AOT, the .NET runtime does not need to be installed on the target computer. Right, let's devour the delicious details of both of these tasty languages. Syntax. c -sharp syntax is similar to other C-based languages like Java and C++. It is statically typed, supports both functional and object-oriented paradigms, and provides features like link language integrated query, async await for concurrency, and extensive support for inheritance and polymorphism. Swift has a more concise modern syntax, emphasizing type safety, error handling, and optionals to prevent runtime crashes. Its syntax is influenced by languages like Objective-C and Python, and it focuses on being more readable and expressive. Platform Ecosystem c -sharp was initially created to run on Windows platforms. However, .NET has since evolved and can now run on multiple platforms including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Through the .NET MAUI framework, c -sharp can also be used to create cross-platform mobile applications. c -sharp and .NET can run in the cloud and is widely used on the Microsoft Azure cloud platform. Swift was designed by Apple for the development of iOS, macOS, watchOS, and tvOS applications. Swift is tailored primarily for the Apple ecosystem. Tooling and Development Environment c -sharp applications are primarily developed in Visual Studio, which provides rich features for debugging, testing, and code management. c -sharp also integrates well with the Azure Cloud Platform. Visual Studio Code provides a lightweight alternative for developing c -sharp applications, but does not provide the rich built-in features that Visual Studio provides. Swift apps are typically developed in Xcode, Apple's Integrated Development Environment, IDE. Xcode is optimized for developing apps for Apple platforms and offers powerful tools like Swift Playgrounds for live coding. Memory Management c -sharp uses automatic memory management through garbage collection, GC, which periodically frees up memory which is no longer in use. But this can introduce some performance overhead. Swift employs automatic reference counting, ARC, which tracks and automatically manages the memory allocation of objects, making it more predictable in terms of performance. ARC is generally more predictable in terms of performance than GC. Cross-platform capabilities. c -sharp has robust cross-platform capabilities where frameworks like .NET MAUI enable c -sharp developers to use one code base for the building of an application for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android devices. c -sharp is known for its excellent enterprise application support. Swift initially focused on Apple platforms, but does have limited cross-platform capabilities. While it can be used on Linux, it's not as widely supported outside the Apple ecosystem. Swift can be used outside the Apple ecosystem, particularly in Linux environments and for server-side development. It has potential for wider cross-platform usage, but its strength remains within the Apple ecosystem. Frameworks like Vapor, Katura, and Perfect have emerged to build Swift-based server-side applications. These are comparable to other web frameworks like Node.js or Django, allowing developers to build APIs and web apps using Swift. 
Type safety and inference. C Sharp is strongly typed with more explicit type declarations. While it supports type inference using var, it requires more type information in many places. Note that the dynamic type can be used to circumvent the type system where the developer is able to write dynamically typed code similar to Python or JavaScript. If the developer elects to use the dynamic type in c -sharp, the developer is essentially giving up the benefits inherent in a strongly typed language. For example, the benefits of runtime robustness and also better performance. Swift is also strongly typed, but more aggressive with type inference. You can write less code because Swift can often infer the type from the context. Community and ecosystem support. c -sharp is backed by Microsoft and has a large community. It is widely used in enterprise environments. It has extensive libraries, frameworks, and tools, particularly in web, desktop, and mobile development. Swift has a growing community, especially among iOS and macOS developers. While it is rapidly evolving and increasingly popular, its ecosystem is more limited to Apple platforms. Learning Curve C Sharp is easier to learn for developers already familiar with C-style syntax, Java, or .NET technologies. It has more features aimed at enterprise development, which might be overwhelming for beginners. Swift is designed to be beginner-friendly, especially for developers starting in the Apple ecosystem. Its focus on type safety and less verbose syntax makes it more accessible, but some advanced features may present a challenging learning curve. Summary. c -sharp is a versatile enterprise-grade language with deep integration in the Microsoft ecosystem and strong cross-platform support through .NET. Swift is tailored for Apple ecosystem development, focusing on simplicity, safety, and performance for iOS, macOS apps. Both languages are modern and powerful, but their suitability depends heavily on the target platform and project requirements. Conclusion. So is c -sharp better than Swift? Well, Swift is a beginner-friendly language and is powerful, but it's very niche and is tailored for the Apple ecosystem. You can potentially earn a bit more money as a Swift developer than a C-sharp developer if you can get the right Swift developer job. But it is important to note that on average, there are more C-sharp jobs on offer than Swift jobs. Using C-sharp and .NET MAUI to develop a cross-platform mobile solution means you'll only need to create and maintain one code base. While if you use Swift to gain a performance advantage, on iOS devices, you'll probably need to create another code base in Java or Kotlin to get the same performance advantages on Android devices. It is going to be far more cost effective to use C Sharp and .NET MAUI to create and maintain a cross-platform mobile app when compared to creating and maintaining a cross-platform mobile solution that requires two code bases, one written in Swift for iOS devices and the other written in Java or Kotlin for Android devices. In this case, it would be up to you to decide if the extra cost is worth the runtime performance gains. There is server-side support for Swift, but it is clear that c -sharp is going to be a better choice for creating server-side solutions as well as enterprise solutions. So it seems that unless you are looking to create high-performing applications that run on iOS devices or other Apple devices like macOS, watchOS, tvOS, in most cases, c -sharp is the better choice. Of course, Swift is going to be the better choice for developing applications that only run within the Apple ecosystem. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If I've missed anything, please let me know in the comments section, and please let me know which of these technologies you prefer and why. All comments are, of course, welcome. Your insights are always appreciated. Of course, it is important to note that when comparing two programming languages, your personal context must be taken into account. What types of applications do you want to create? What type of salary do you want to earn? Is job security your main concern? In which case, it is important to note that there are far more C-sharp jobs than Swift jobs available. It is also important to take into account whether you wish to be a contractor, a freelancer, a permanent corporate employee, whether you want to work for a fan company, create your own business, etc. There are many factors to consider when investing your time in learning a particular programming language. Your personal context is the best place to start. 
If you like this video, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Please don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do this at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. If you'd like to follow me on X, my username is at GavinLonDigital. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care. Learning Curve C Sharp is easier to learn for developers already familiar with STEES. C Sharp is C Sharp is easy. C Sharp is easy.